Do you have to be crazy to make art? Yes, yes, I think so. I think, I think you have to be a little crazy by, by definition. I, I think it's part of the, the definition of art is, is that the artist is a little bit crazy because by definition, art is created outside of existing culture. You know, art is not tracing an existing work of art, right? You're not coloring within the lines. You know, you're taking what exists in your current culture and you're running it through you and then expressing something new and different. You know, that's, that's what differentiates art from mainstream entertainment. You know, the stuff that is showing up on primetime television isn't likely to break new artistic ground in most cases, right? It's going to be more formulaic and already have relatively widespread cultural approval and sanction. Also, not knocking primetime TV here, right? There's plenty of great mainstream storytelling going on in popular television and film. There's lots of great stuff being made out there, not knocking it. But if it's new and it's different in ways that people have never seen or are not used to seeing, that's a bigger risk, right? If people have their current cultural glasses on, you like my cultural glasses? Through that lens of what is acceptable in current culture, any truly new and innovative art is going to look a little crazy to the average person. You know, people are gonna stare at it and think, WTF? You know, what is that? That's not what I'm used to. How am I supposed to process this? It's, it's strange to me. I can't, I can't understand what this is getting at. You know, that's, that's why making art isn't safe. You know, you're potentially challenging aspects of the current culture. And, you know, people who are stable and happy within the current culture may not like that. You know, they may find your art upsetting, you know? And the goal is to make art that is so good that even when it upsets people, they still like it.